a warm and humid day. A lot of folks out enjoying Milwaukee. A little hazy skies as we zoom in closer to State Fair Park. High of 81. So this is pretty much where we're supposed to be for this time of the year. There are a few isolated showers, though, that have developed mainly along the lake breeze. You can see the heaviest downpours of which is in West Bend, also on near Menominee Falls, as well as in the around the Sussex area. Here's a live look out in West Bend. You can see the rain is coming down there. Elsewhere, we're seeing plenty of sunshine, but 77. That temperature will go down with these showers that are currently going on across West Bend. Don't expect that to last for very long. Current temperatures across southeastern Wisconsin, a lot more 80s where we are seeing that sunshine. 80 in Sheboygan, 81 in Waukesha, 84 in Burlington, as well as in Fond du Lac. A little cooler right at the lake, 70 or 84 degrees uh, closer to Milwaukee. Dew points are in the upper 60s, and yes, that means there's plenty of moisture in our air. A little bit of moisture showing up on Storm 4 Max, but again, these are a lot of isolated showers and a few thunderstorms across the Badger State. If you do get underneath one of these, it will not last for much longer than about 10 minutes, and much of that will be wrapping up by about sunset. Notice by 830, just one isolated shower left on future forecast, then overnight, we'll just keeping things mainly clear, just a little bit muggy, and as we start off your work week, here comes a southwesterly wind. This will continue to boost the heat and humidity. We're talking highs tomorrow in the upper 80s. That is before the cold front swings through. We stay dry through at least 4 o'clock. Then here comes the cold front. Notice from 5 p.m. until about 8, 9 o'clock. That's when those showers and thunderstorms will start to sag southward. Much of this will be out of here by about midnight, but some of those storms could pack a little bit of a punch. So we do have a slight risk for strong to severe storms, especially in our northern and western counties. This does encompass much of southern and central Wisconsin, stretching all the way down through Iowa and into Nebraska. Biggest threats for us will be wind as well as potential for some hail and downpours tomorrow in the evening hours. Overnight to know tonight though, you're looking pretty good. 66 degrees, muggy conditions, but mainly clear skies. Tomorrow, if you're headed out to State Fair, 87, hot and humid with again a chance for some of those showers and thunderstorms, especially after about five o'clock in the evening. So your wet window forecast for tomorrow, again, much of the day staying dry. After about four or five o'clock, that chance for rain starts to ramp up. Up, heaviest rain between about 6 and 10 p.m. and then that starts to wrap up. Your seven day forecast showing that chance for thunderstorms after a hot and humid start to your work week. We get cooler, a little more comfortable on Tuesday with an isolated shower chance. Better chance for rain again comes Wednesday night and into your Thursday and then 70s full steam mm. ahead to close out State Fair. That will feel nice. Yeah, blue uh, ribbon for that one. Yes, <laughs> thanks Jesse. Yeah.